Okay, so um, we have a lot of people talking about 4K at this conference, so um, let's look into the different sensor and lens options for 4K acquisition. Now, this is a common high-definition uh, camera and lens, field lens. It's got a prism with three sensors on it. It's got an extremely well-defined mounting and interface between the um, optics of the lens and the sensors. In fact, the sensors are at different depths for the different colors. Um, and there's optical filtering that matches what the sensors do. And then we have a long range zoom lens. In this case, I'm showing 101 to 1, but 100 to 1, 88 to 1, whatever, they're fairly long ranges. Now, uh, this is sort of what the camera sensor looks like. Obviously, it's not 2 by 2, it's 1920 by 1080. But uh, looking at the individual photo sites, there are about uh, 5 micrometers uh, in each dimension. And Charles Poynton talked about that on Monday, and he'll be talking a little bit more about that later. And there's three of them, one for red, one for green, and one for blue. Now, what do you do if you want to change this into 4K? Well, one thing you could do is simply upscale everything and um, keep the 5 micrometer size on the photo sites, but um, make the sensor much larger. So that's essentially what was done by Lockheed Martin. The old timers of you here might remember um, when um, Stephen Stow did a presentation on that at the tech retreat. You can see the camera is fairly large because it needs a very large sensor. The lenses need a telecentric adapter. A um, bit of a mess, but it's an excellent quality. It's one of the best 4K cameras that's ever been made. In fact, perhaps the only 4K camera that's ever been made, as you'll see in a moment. Now, this is much more common. People take the large sensor but use only one sensor and don't have the prism. And they put a color filter on top, typically a Bayer filter. Um, there are different resolutions used, but if the chip is either 3840 across or even 4096 across, it's not delivering 4K due to that optical filtering. Uh, sorry, not the optical filtering, the color filtering. And if you look at the small images on the top, you can see that the red and the blue are simply 2K imagers. They have nothing whatsoever to do with 4K. The green is a little bit more complicated. It's quincunx, but basically you have to upconvert that stuff to get it to 4K. So there's also a lens issue. The red circle shows what a lens intended for a two-thirds inch imager would do, so it's obviously not properly covering the full sensor. And so we use different lenses with different mounts. A PL mount is typical. Um, prime lenses are fine for PL mount. There are no long-range zooms yet. Larry is going to talk about one that Canon came up with uh, recently. It's a 20 to 1. And that's really pushing the technology, certainly nothing near 100 to 1 at the moment. Or you could take that 100 to 1 lens that you use on a 2 thirds inch format lens and adapt it to the PL mount and make the image size larger for the Super 35 sensor. But if you do that, if the adapter is absolutely perfect, you're dropping 2.6 stops of light. Um, also, I would remind you that the MTF of the HD lens is, of course, HD. So here's another option, stay two thirds of an inch and shrink the photo sites on the sensor so that you can squeeze in 4K worth of photo sites instead of uh, only HD worth of photo sites. Now the problem with shrinking the photo sites, one is you get dead pixels and Joel is gonna talk about that. And another is that you have a photon noise issue and Charles is going to talk about that. Another option is to use regular HD sensors but introduce a diagonal offset of a half pixel so that you're effectively creating uh, 4K resolution. And there are two ways of doing this. One is with four chips, adding a second green sensor with a half, in, a half pixel uh, diagonal offset. And that's what you can see Hitachi showing in the demo room. And another option would just be to stay with three chips, but to simply offset the green from the red and blue. And you might be seeing that soon from a major manufacturer. And then finally, we have option six, which I call just upconvert HD. The Grass Valley people are sensitive about my saying upconvert. 
um, but it's basically an HD camera, and this is the 4K camera that Grass Valley showed at NAB. But think about it for a while. The sensor is perfectly matched to the optical filtering, which is perfectly matched to the lens mount. The sensors have the appropriate depths for the colors. So any processing or upconversion that you do on this is going to be on a very pristine signal. And remember, even the single sensor cameras that have 3840 or 4096 resolution um, have to do filtering and upconverting. Now, there are some single sensor cameras with an awful lot more resolution.